Uh, hello learners, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is CPL Senaka and uh, under this channel I will mainly take you through uh, business data analytics offered and examined by Kasnev uh, under the advanced level. After completion of the other theoretical papers, uh, this business data analytics this is more of a practical paper than a theoretical paper. And uh, so today, we, but uh, the business data analytics has the theory and uh, has the practical part. And the good thing of business data analytics is that uh, the theoretical part has answers. Okay, it's a multiple choice questions. Yeah, the theoretical part is a multiple choice questions. And now uh, we have the practical part now. So the this theoretical part has 40 marks. And uh, the practical part also has 60 marks and um, as you all know uh, to pass Kasne by the 50 percent okay all right yeah so if you can get like 25 25 you know and uh, your first business business data analytics is the simplest simplest paper it's a, a go away paper like they say because it's a go away paper so it, it's not that much hard if you have multiple choice so but to cut the long story short uh, today uh, we're gonna be looking for data model a uh, data model this is a topic under business data analytics also it has a touch on financial models for CIFA students also I recommend you watch this video Okay, let's begin. And uh, before I forget, as usual, if it's a new time here, please feel welcome. Consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, let's continue. Okay, as we were saying, data models. Okay, what is, before we, we talk of data models, let's talk of data modeling. Data modeling is the process of creating a data model for the data to be stored in a database like i don't know if you are getting it like a data model is the, is, yeah, the way data is stored in a database okay this data model is a conceptual representation of data objects the association between different data objects and the holes okay so here we are saying you see data model is the way the data is stored in the database isn't it yes so when we talk of a data model so it's a conceptual pictorial representation of data objects the associations between different data objects and the rules okay right so data modeling helps in the visualize visual representation of data and enforces business rules regulatory compliances and government policies on data data models ensure consistency in managing conventions, default value semantics and data security while ensuring data quality. Okay, that's saying how data model helps actually. It helps in the visual representation of data. Right? Right. Okay, let's go with data models in a DPMS. A data model is defined as an abstract model that organizes data descriptions, data semantics, and consistency constraints of data. The data model emphasizes on what is needed and how it should be organized instead of the operation to be performed on the data. Like data model mainly focuses on what data is needed rather than what operations will be performed on the data. Data model is like an active building plan which is which helps to build a conceptual model and set relationship between data items. Alright. Okay, you see let me give the a small story for you to understand this thing properly. Like you see, an architect can't build a house without without having a building plan. So let me give you this short story here. Uh, there's an active who built a building, a very big mall, and uh, he never had a building plan. So after com completing to build, he found out that, that there was no exit in the mall. 
there was only the entry but no exit for cars you see now you can't like now that is like a data model the importance of a data model you film types of data model technique data modeling technique okay we have two types of data model technique the first one is the er model and the second one is the uml unified modeling language okay the er model uh, as we have talked of the er model this is the this is where we find the rd bms also known as the relationship relational database management system because this entity is all about entity and relationship okay as we have uh, we shall see this down there in good form what's the uml uh, why do you use data model uh, uh, data model helps to ensure that that objects are required by the database are accurately represented a data model helps design the database at conceptual logical and physical model a data model structure helps to define the relation, uh, relational tables, primary and foreign case, and stored procedures. It provides a clear picture of what base which can be used by database developers to create a physical database. It is also helpful, helpful in identifying missing and data. data. Okay, okay, you know, theory online is very uh, types of data models in DPMS. You see this note, this note, uh, we have this note, don't worry, don't worry, this note we have them, yes, we can give you at a very affordable price, this note we have them, yes, I'll not go through a whole, but I'll try, I'll try to, I'll try to explain more, more of it, because we only have 15, 15 or so minutes, okay, yes, I'll try to explain, I'll try to explain, so, like what we were saying, this talk of the conceptual data model. Actually, this defines what the system contains. System on a, what the system contains. Like this is our business, isn't it? So and this is the way we do it. So these are the this is what our system contains. I don't know if you get uh, as in this model is typically created by business stakeholders and data architects. Uh, the purpose is to organize, sc scope and define business concepts and rules. The way they do things, you see. Like, uh, I want to, to take this, this point home. Let me do this. This point, I want you to take this point home. Yeah. Film. Okay. Yeah. What are you saying? The model is a structured business view of data required to support business processes, record business events, and track related performance measures. So, uh, one thing you should know is that uh, this conceptual model it does not rely on any physical data storage structures it is independent 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 of any independent of any physical form of structure eg why is it huh? you see the conceptual data model represents the overall structure of data required to support business requirements, independent of any software, independent of any software of structure. Okay. Okay. Uh, a conceptual data model is an organized view of the database concepts and the relationship. The purposes of creating a conceptual data model is to establish entities, the attributes and relationship. You see, establish, identify entities, their attributes and the relationship. 
is to the identify in this data model name there's hardly any detail available on the actual database structure business people on data are typically involved, involved. you see the people involved are business people are like we shall like let's uh, we shall see but mostly it's the business people and data active they are no, we have no talk of database developers no these are just business people and data active like this as we have said it is describes what the system has like we have our product we have our customers so these are the what source the system has isn't it okay so what is an entity someone will ask what is an entity an entity is a real world thing e.g product or customer attributes are properties of an entity or let's say characteristics e.g product name customer name product id and the relationship dependency or degree of association between entities degree of association between entities e.g cell is the relationship between product and customer uh, okay you see this a conceptual data model is known as a domain model because it creates a common vocabulary for all stakeholders by establishing basic concepts and scopes and so we'll come to the characteristics i'll be a bit faster characteristics uh, characteristics uh, an overall view of the structure of data in a business context features that are independent of any dpm so Constructed storage structure like this. Yeah, you can you, you can get this note. Uh, you can get this note. Okay, logical data model defines how the system should be implemented regardless of DBMS. The model typically created by data but data architects and business analysts. You see, now here we are not talking of business people. We are talking of business analysts. How? But it is generic let me let me use that word it is generic like there is no actual specific dbms being used it just like uh, well how will i say it's an improvement of the conceptual model but now this one is uh, like uh, it's a uh, it's more of defining the structure the data elements it's more of defining and setting the relationship between them. You know, under conceptual, we were like identifying, we were establishing. Now here we are setting the relationship. We're saying, okay, this one, this is the relationship. Like the advantages of using a logical is to establish a foundation to form a base of physical data model. However, modeling structures remain generic. Okay, E.g., customer name. That's a string value and a customer number is a numeric value at, at this model level no primary key is defined just verification and adjustment of the connector details like you get this properly like no primary or secondary key is defined but is identified like how you are saying in the conceptual mode model and a conceptual data model is that you see we established the entities the relationship and attributes so under the logical model we are not defining any any primary or secondary key but if under the logical model you see we have defined the entities the attributes and the structures we have defined them you get me but now Prim when it comes to we establish the primary and secondary key we establish this but we don't define them okay the model is used in designing business intelligence apps it builds upon the requirements provided at the conceptual model this is uh, just a further of a further more of conceptual data model yeah. And uh, something else to note, uh, like the conception of the logical model is independent of any specific database or data storage structure. It is independent. It uses indexes and foreign keys to 
represent data relationship but are defined in a generic database you say you see in a generic database one they independent of any dbms specific specific dbms product there's no specific database management system that has been specified to be used but here we have already identified uh, characteristics i'll go faster features independent of dbms specific attributes and entities to be implemented identification of business rules relationship between those entities and attributes defined identification of primary keys uh, here is not definition here is establishing but it's, it's okay it's just like but in a generic okay we will we'll add here but in a generic database okay uh, describe data needs for a single project but could integrate data attributes and will have data types with specific precisions and length obviously okay we come now to the physical data model uh, the physical data model the model describes the database specific implementation like here we have a specific dbm dbms it offers database abstraction and helps generate schema this is because of the richness of metadata offered by physical data models the model helps in visualizing database structure by replicating database columns constraints indexes triggers and other relational database management features okay like uh, you see like the now this is the it has been already put in the database management system in a specific database management system now this is representing the logical data model in a database schema you see and uh, so characteristics is dbms specific division table columns and other specific object definition in the dbms that represent the entities and attributes in the logical data model columns such as data types are defined and implemented differently across dbms differential integrity i'll go faster because of time we are we are almost running out of time okay we are almost running out of time we are almost running out of time We are almost running out of time all right okay now um my dear viewers and uh, this notes this notes we have them this notes uh we are we are we have we have the theoretical notes or all the notes and uh we have the practical questions we have the practical questions we we have the pilot paper we have the december 2022 also and uh, I'll, uh as i said i'll leave my uh, contacts in the comment section and uh, you can reach me out and uh we shall liars thank you Hope to see you in the next video. This was a bit more.